The Pacific Northwest. <laughs> that could be anything. That's real broad. <laughs> that is a that is a large like the Pacific Northwest of the world. What what a Pacific thing to try. I prefer the Nardi snacks, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The Pacific Northwest, so obviously they're on the so, Pacific side. Northwest, so that would that would be, put them on the coast, which would be like Seattle, San Francisco. That's that Northwest now. That's kind of the middle. America makes sense. Yeah, yeah. if it was yeah. going to be somewhere, I guess America. The only one that comes to my mind is Oregon, 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 <laughs> Oregon. The Oregon Trail. Ooh, good hands, good hands. Cut it. Peanuts, raisins, and sunflower seeds. Dark chocolate truffle bar. I oh. love dark chocolate. It's kind of healthy-ish. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's a real, it looks like it would be mint. It has the color scheme of mint. Yeah. Like peanuts, hate raisins. I'm all about this. Sorry, Claire. Four ninety nine. Is that, is that a lot for bar chocolate? Five dollars for this. Must be amazeballs. It, it better be amazeballs. I'm gonna go into this with an open mind. I'd say I like this, it's got dark dogs, peanuts in it, blah, 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 blah. This is too good for you, do you know what I mean? You know when Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite in Star Wars? It looks like- Ooh, that is dark. It looks like that kind of dog shite you see in the park. It smells like dark chocolate. Yeah, it smells like dark chocolate. Oh, why is it, why is it turning white? But well, it looks quite tasty. Yeah. I feel like for something that doesn't have caramel in it, this, this shouldn't happen. <laughs> Here we go. Always go for a lick. Mm. Geez, never actually, that's not bad. Mm. That's not bad at all. Mm. This is really nice. Oh, yeah. Real good. I'm not getting much peanut but peanuts or raisins or anything, though. It's just really crumbly. It's like a surprise when you bite into the soft raisin. It's kind of salty. Yeah, it's only, it's different. For dark chocolate, it's actually quite sweet. I don't think I don't get to eat any more than one square. It is. It's lovely. I think I, that absolutely lovely. Yeah. I get it. I get it, Oregon. Is it Oregon? Yeah. Yeah, Seattle. I get it, Seattle. Same difference. Oh shit. I'm gonna be killed for that comment. What do they mean, may chocolate be your umbrella? You're gonna still get quite wet. Probably. <laughs> Not a good way. It's gonna get very soggy very mm. fast. I that is actually lovely. Eight or nine out of ten. Really solid. Look at me. Stick that up my hole. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I meant have a diamond show now, because I thought it was gonna be not nice and it wasn't nice. <laughs> We all know what you meant, Claire. Up my hole. Okay. Oh, all right. Apples and cutlets. Apple, apricot, and walnut candies from the Pacific Northwest. Oh. Gluten free, vegan, no cholesterol, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. This is going to be sadness. How is this a snack then? So many foods are all of those things just anyway. That's so if you just got an apple, it'd be like gluten free, vegan, no cholesterol, yeah. artificial flavors, colors, preservatives. Yeah, because it's a fucking apple. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's this quite is, nice. It's quite this, nice. This is very nice packaging. If we're to go by the page, this side is cutlets and this side is apples. Is this in the Pacific Northwest, Savannah? Where, where's Savannah? That's a good question. Ooh. Ooh, they look like Turkish Delights. Are they jelly? Oh, they are jelly. I'm gonna try a cutlet first, and then I'm gonna try an apple afterwards. Cutlet for you, I and a cutlet from me. You know, like, if you just kind of scrape the big lump of skin off the bottom of your foot if you've been out hiking or like jogging. And we're done with that. Mm. Looks like a congealed snot. There's a nut in there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we feel the nut. Ooh, mm. no. Put it in, shove the nut around, swallow it. You won't even, you won't even think about it. It's like a really good jelly. It's like apricot jelly. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad, but it's it's just unusual. Fine. <laughs> you just want to hate everything, but I it actually it turns out, it, it turns out to be really, really nice. Do you reckon that dust is natural? That comes from the natural um, cocaine plant. Yeah, they're okay. They definitely feel like something that you know, when you visit your granny, she'd be like, would you like some applets and cutlets? It's a little looser than jelly. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, a Turkish, have you ever had a Turkish delight? Yeah, and I hate them. Oh, well, there you go. Would it be nicer without the nuts? I like nuts, you see. Mm. Walnuts, hazelnut, peanuts, I don't care. Be nice in a chocolate brick. Mm. That dark chocolate mm. melted over it. Oh. Yeah. Really good. Love it. Mm. I give it one out of ten because I eat it rather than die. Mm. What's your opinion on cherries? Chocolate cherries. Okay, this kind of sounds like it's gonna be nice. We'll be gone on them, but like if you had a nice dessert with a cherry, mm. you'd just, you'd eat it. Oh, look how plush. Like it's like jewelry, a jewelry box. Your partner gives you this and you're like, oh my God, it's Christmas. What did I get? Is it a necklace? Is it, uh, oh, it's cherry chocolate. Oh, again. Classic cherries, cherry bings, and uh, Cabernet cherries. Uh, is there a difference between the ones in the middle and the ones on the uh, Yeah, the they're in the middle. You're so funny, aren't you? I'm so sassy today. Do you like cherries? Uh, yeah, I like a cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, cool. Kind of like that chart you see like in a doctor's office. What color is your stool? And 
healthy. Not healthy. Oh, Jerry, cherry and chocolate. I've never had these anything like this before. They're delicious. Mm. That's terrible. I'm not a big fan. I think that was good. It was nice. It was, a, it was surprising. It's not too strong with the old cherry flavor. God, you could choose for ages. Yeah. It's not too sweet. I was expecting it to be sweater. It's kind of smoky aftertaste as well. Oh, a God. Bit, a taste of smoke. Where does artificial cherry flavor come from? Because it doesn't come from fucking cherries. That's I tell you that much. Not... Oh, I get what yeah. you mean. Yeah, because that is an actual cherry and it tastes like next to nothing. We'll try the, we'll try the middle Let's ones. Let's go for the middle one. Yeah. Cherry base. Bing's. Bing cherries. Bing. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus, where'd it go? Honestly, the cherry tastes like a chewy caramel. Lovely. God, I'd love some wine right now. These would actually be nice at wine. Listen, if you're going to go artisanal, you might as well get drunk as well. I don't know if I like that one as much. Really? Uh, you really love your dark chocolate. I like my dark chocolate, yeah. yeah. They're actually unbelievable. And the only reason I'm not eating them anymore is because you're about to take them away. <laughs> the milk chocolate one, not the dark one. Chris. If it's not something savory, I'm gonna get a five guys after this. What does savory mean? Ooh, a bag each! Peanut butter mountain bar. I've heard of mountain bears. It's like with kids. No, which one is bigger? I want the bigger one. Okay, work away, man. <laughs> peanut butter mountain bar, peanut butter mountain bar. We... Again, they're mountains, they're mountains, and they're Oregon, <laughs> Seattle trails, and all that kind of crack. Does that look appetizing? No. No. It looks like poop. It does. Ooh. Not expecting that. Oh, you went for a full bite there. Mm. I am all about this. Shove the rest of it in your mouth and try and chew it in one. Oh yeah, no bother. Oh, it's so dry. But it's really good. It's incredible. So dry. It's dry. And I get to finish it without drinking any water. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything I want out of a peanut butter bar. I think if you liked peanut butter bars, it'll be fine, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. Mm. What do you think? What do I think? Mm. I think I'm really glad I didn't put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> is the Pacific Northwest really like, I know we're all like really into hiking. Because everything seemed to be called hiking trail mix, mountain bar. I'm going to keep this for later for sure. I'm not, I'm going to eat it now. A lot of fat though. A lot, a lot of calories. 25%. It does feel like if you were hiking, it'd give you lots of energy as well. Let's, let's not lie to ourselves. This is not something you have on a mountain trail. It's not. You'd no, have like a not. proper like, you'd have a proper trail mix. This is this is a snack. So good. Nine out of ten for me. Oh yeah. A mountain bar? I call this a mountain lump. It says on the packet that it's mountain shaped. Ah, Jesus, Sean. You've cracked the code. <laughs> you've cracked the code. <laughs> Me with your best shot. Boo, 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 boo. Market spice. Tea bags. Breakfast tea. What? Tea. <laughs> yes. Market spice. Northwest breakfast tea. Yes. Yes. I just fucking said I'd love to be in here for tea sometime. And you, you poker face bastard, didn't even give it away for a second. Decaffeinated. So, see. I like my coffee. Decaffeinated. Oh, would you fuck? Oh, this is a roller coaster video. Decaffeinated. That's fine. <laughs> It. This blend of full flavored black teas was developed especially to be enjoyed during the fresh, vibrant morning of a new day. I'll drink it. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> I'm hopeful because it actually smells like normal tea. It didn't go the color I wanted it to go. Have you ever had a tea bag just dropped, dropped onto your head? Oh, well, thank you, Sean, very much. Oh, <laughs> I don't really drink tea very often, but uh. I'm not a big tea drinker. I wouldn't have tea in, a, in, a, in, any, in any given day. I'm more, no. of a, more of a coffee woman. Maybe we didn't leave the tea bag in long enough. That tastes like uh, weak water. It's kind of green tea-esque. Yeah. It's decaffeinated. You didn't have it before you go to bed. As far as tea goes, that's not great. I'd say it'd be a good crack if you were up a mountain in the Pacific Northwest. You have this, you have your peanut butter bar, little chocolate bar, trail mix, chocolate cherries. It'd be lovely. You wouldn't have any oh, assets cotton. Maybe it's that we like a stronger tea. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, it's super weak. Welcome back to Irish ASMR with MC. Today we're trying tea. <sighs> Jesus, tastes like the famine. Jesus, lovely. Salmon! Sorry, salmon. Niall thinks there's no thing as a silent L. It's not thinks, Niall knows. Everyone else is a sheep. <gasps> oh, I love smoked salmon. Unreal. No refrigeration needed. Good, so it lasted in the post. Small batch smoked in the centuries old traditions of the Pacific Northwest. It's not an actual salmon, is it? It is, yeah. Lord above. Wait, it's like a little pizza box. This, this, this looks like it just came out of the water. Oh. This is like... Oh my God. It has been vacuum sealed in this pouch, then gently cooked in its own juices. Ah, no! This preserves the seafood naturally, so it's no refrigeration. Saliva. Yeah, its own secretions. I just got salmon juice everywhere. Doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> Smells quite fishy. Ugh. 
Tastes like salmon. Like, this is the most gourmet, like, pre. Ah! <laughs> <Are you? laughs> Did you get yeah, good enough? Me as well, yeah. Yeah. Trying it with a cracker is genius. So we got his skin. Lovely little fishy skin. He's a spitter. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. This is nice salmon. That's a really nice smoked salmon. You gotta give that, yeah. yeah mm. I definitely eat that as a snack. Yeah, the texture is not fantastic. But the taste is actually grand. Like the smokiness of like bacon, but yeah. in a salmon. Mm. I feel like you're just watching me and Claire eat dinner now. <laughs> I had such a concerned look in my face because my I didn't know what to make of it. Once I swallowed it, I was like, hey, it's just, it's that nuts. ain't bad. If we're ever stuck in a mountain in the Pacific Northwest, we are fine. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. For Pacific Northwestern snacks, it is the best one we've had. Definitely one of the nicest things I've had in a video um, ever. You have to eat all the salmon. There's my overall thoughts on salmon. <laughs> I ate it all. I'm yeah. sorry. Big fan of that salmon. That is a, that is a good note to end on. That was so Very good. Kind of a little bit like, wow. Yeah. The salmon was like salmon. one of the best things I've ever had in here. The ever. best. Close second applets and collets for me. Disagree. I was on the edge of my seat atle. Hum dum dum. Hum dum dum. I'll do it all again. Yep. Absolutely not. Applets and collets were a, were a solid 9 out of 10 for me, but salmon, salmon takes the cake. Yeah, we're probably going to have to continue this offline. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to continue this argument. Argument later. Yeah. Hey there, you, if you enjoyed what you just saw with all the salmon and the chocolate and the applet and the cutlet, uh, then <laughs> like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications because otherwise you won't know when we upload and we upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, so do all of that. Yes, we'd love to see you again. Now you say all that. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs>